Hey guys, it's the Lego Detective, and today I'm going to be showing you my collection of Lego Batman related stuff, and it's not focusing. Okay, yeah, so this is more of like a casual kind of video, not something like super serious. Um, sorry, I just burped, but yeah, I'm really, really like just chilling right now. Um, just got back from camp, last day of camp, so I'm just relaxing, but I thought that it would be cool. Um, I'm not really planning on doing a full-on review of this Batcave because I've already added so many things to it and modified it. Though I did do the speed review of it, you can check that out. Um, though I do plan on doing a full review for Arkham Asylum and maybe a speed review. But yeah, so here's the Batcave. It's very big. So we have the Batwing in the back and I have this ladder coming off of the, the Batwalk that goes to the Batwing. I'm just going to move it a little bit. There you go. Here's Robin in his suit. And at first I had like a short black cape, but then um I found I remember that I had Red Hood and he had this uh like this red Batman cape. So I tried it on and I thought that it looked really cool. So now that's what I'm using. There's the Robin Copter, I have little barbells, the jail. Behind there we just have other capes and like the pieces. Um if you want to make normal Robin and the cape and then a short yellow cape as well. Sorry, it's not focusing. Here is the bat sled and the tumbler. It's very hard to see some of the details on this, but yeah, I do plan on doing a review. I actually had a review on it, but it was like really long. It was 20 minutes, and I felt like I didn't really want to have a 20 minute long review of the set. Um, so I deleted it, and I'm going to redo it at some point because I feel like that was a bit too long for that set. Um, in here, we have um, the little Batman transformation thing, but what I did is I put the Dark Knight bat suit, and I just took the head, just turned it around, so it's still flesh, but you don't really see the mouth. And on this side, it's just another cut. This is a custom bat suit. It's based off the 2007 one, but I don't have the correct torso, so I just made this custom. Um, and there's the the bat, the ladder from the Batwing set, and that just sort of blocks that. And then you have a trophy, like this little promotional McDonald's card. You have some batarangs and stuff in there, and over there too. And some tool benches, which you can't really see. You got the table with all the stuff. And then Boss Robin. Very boss. I thought it would be kind of cool to like have like this Robin and then like the Boss Robin. Oh, by the way, here's the back computer. I like was showing this, but I didn't really focus on it. But yeah, the table still lifts up. I think I'm going to move it back a little bit. A few studs. Um, and we have some new little additions to it. Um, Batman and uh, well, Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson and Alfred. And then here's a little thing for the Batcopter, and this is what used to be there. And I personally don't really like how this looks, though I thought that it would, be, it would just fill up space right there. And it does, so it's just there for display pretty much. But there's my Batcopter stand, I think that looks pretty cool. There's Batman, ladder comes down, there's the zipline, Robin's little jet ski, the Batboat based off the 1960s. Here's the platform thing with the Batmobile, Bat Dragster. This is Nightwing's bike, but I made it out of my own pieces, but then when I got Arkham Asylum, which I built a few days ago, um, when I got that, I got a second bike, so, yeah, and just to clear things up, I got a comment, um, saying, like, how did your parents afford to get, um, a sealed Arkham Asylum, and I didn't get it sealed. In that video, I was just showing the box. Because the set was partially disassembled in the basement. And I had to go into the basement and get the bags with it. I was just showing the box. When I bought it, it came with the box. And it was missing a few pieces. There are some small scuffs on the minifigures. Like Poison Ivy, her lip is like sliced, sliced in half. A lot of the figures have like damage on their mouths. Like Nightwing has a small tiny little uh, nick on his mouth. And same thing, like Riddler has two little nicks on his lip. It's like he got like two little cuts on his lip. And the Batman um, is in really bad shape. Um, I ordered this set and the Batcave and the Batmobile set. Um, and only one of the black suit Batmans was in good condition. The other two were in really bad shape. Um, just so that you know. And there were some stickers missing. Nightwing's bike stickers missing. The stickers on the uh, little Bat Glider are missing. And some of the stickers on the Poison Ivy thing were bad condition and... The sticker on Riddler's cell is in super bad condition. And also pieces are dusty. So, yeah. I, and also, I bought it myself. And it, it was not sealed. It was used. 
um, as are all the other ba other Batman sets. I am not going unless I can find the sealed Batman set that I don't have for like under sixty dollars or well under a hundred dollars depending on what it is. Then I'm not gonna get it. Like I'm not going to spend like five hundred dollars on a sealed Arkham Asylum. Just so that you know. So all of these Batman sets I get used off of eBay. I'm able to find some pretty good deals. And trust me, I don't win all the 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 listings that I've been on. I actually I have lost like multiple listings. Though with the Batman sets I've just got really lucky. But yeah, speaking of Arkham Asylum, going over here, here it is. I just have it all set up. There's the main building, the Riddler cell, Scarecrow Poison Ivy cell, the truck, the van, uh, Arkham Ambulance, the gate, um, the security tower, and Nightwing on his bike. I'm not really going to show this too much because I haven't modified this set. Actually, I did. I, I have a small modification. So, I made Mr. Freeze's cell up on the top. It's kind of hard for you to see, but... Yeah, I just put some icy pieces in there, and then you have a cell for Mr. Freeze. So, yeah. That's the only modification I've done to the set. But now, going across, we have the villain's lair, with all the villains. We have a fidget spinner I just got. Some random Legos and stuff. We have some Batmans and an extra Two-Face missing the hair. Going up. Here's my Cloud City in the box. And just so that you know, this I did not get sealed. And also, this was missing all of the figures and um, the entire center, like the white building, like the table where Darth Vader like appears when they're going to have breakfast with Lando or something, or dinner. Um, that entire section of the build was missing, so yeah. Um, but I actually got that Cloud City for free, which is pretty lucky of me. Here's just some pieces of the Vladex Dark Fortress, which used to be my custom Arkham Asylum, which I disassembled. And this is my custom Poison Ivy lair. Here's my Scarecrow lair, which I'm very proud of, actually. Just a sneak peek to the back. And this is from the Bat Copter vs. Scarecrow set. I, um... I don't have all the pieces to this bi to the biplane. I'm gonna order them. So, I actually got the Bat Copter vs. Scarecrow set used. No minifigs, no stickers, and there are a bunch of pieces missing. The Bat Copter was complete. That there are a bunch of like dark tan pieces, like a, a bunch of giant plates, and also like the rudder to the ship and some of the curved bricks on it that I'm missing. So I'm gonna order those off of Bricklink, but that's just a custom built with the pieces that I had. But then this is my main display. So I have all my henchmen, two Mr. F uh, two, well one Mr. Freeze henchman, three Penguin henchmen, two Joker henchmen, um from the two Joker sets. Well one of them I got with the set. The other one I built out of pieces that I had because it I, when I got the Joker's Aerial Assault, I didn't get the henchman or the Joker, so I just built a henchman out of pieces that I had. And these Two-Face henchmen, I got um, the seller included when I bought... I, I only bought three sets, the Batcave, the Batmobile, and Arkham Asylum. Though he actually threw in um, an extra Two-Face, an extra Two-Face henchman. He threw in Catwoman, he threw in the Bat Dragster set. Complete, actually, it was 100% complete, just missing stickers. And he threw in the Bat Boat set, but that was missing um, also some stickers and a, f uh, a bunch of pieces on the Bat Boat and a bunch of pieces on the Croc Boat. But yeah, I kind of got like almost two extra sets, which is pretty crazy. And I did get Catwoman, because otherwise I would have to buy Catwoman, because I, I, I wouldn't have had Catwoman. Um, and he also threw in an extra Grey Batman torso, but I already had the Grey Batman. But anyway, Harley Quinn's Hammer Truck, you can see an Ice Cream Truck. Another ice cream truck. This right here is Penguin Sub. Catwoman's bike is in there. Let's get that out. Catwoman's bike. Mr. Freeze's ice brick. Joker Copter. 1989 Batmobile. I actually have done some modifications to it. Since the last time that you saw it. There's a custom Arkham building for Arkham Asylum that I built with pieces from my own collection, actually. I think that looks pretty good. Though, I just don't have a lot of brown pieces. Um, there's my custom Joker mobile. I made that a really long time ago. I don't know why I haven't reviewed that yet. I still have a bunch of mocks that I want to show. Like, I want to show my new Batmobile, Joker mobile, and also my new Tumblr. So here's the Tumblr. I'm just missing one piece. I'm missing one of those little flaps. I still need it. Once I get that, I will be technically done. But I'm very proud with how this Tumblr came out now. And it even has a hinging roof, but I'm not going to show that right now. And I also modified my bat 
paw it a little bit. I changed it around, mainly the wheels. But yeah, this is my Dark Knight Batman. I wanted to make it look really cool. And this is just a Dark Knight suit to put on display in my bat cave, even though I already have another one. And then I have Scarecrow, Bootleg Joker, and this is this is the Batman that I got, the Dark Knight Batman I got from the Mr. Freeze buggy set when I was like four years old or something. Maybe I was older than that, but I got it back in 2008 because my friend actually got the Joker Ice Cream Surprise set. And the reason that I want want that set so what I the while why I wanted that set so bad was because I remember this one little scene of me just sitting in my like preschool classroom and then my friend just comes in and takes out like the Joker's ice cream truck. I don't remember seeing the tumbler. Um, but he took it out and then I wanted my mom to get me. So she got me like the little Mr. Freeze buggy set, but I lost the Mr. Freeze. Yeah. Um so yeah, I just have this Batman and I have like five of these no, I have four of these Dark Knight bat suits. I have three of these. But the, my two favorite bat suits, the black and gray one and the gray and blue one, those two are my favorites. I don't have any of the gray and blue, and I only have one of the black and gray ones. But, yeah, so there's like a full shot, and there's just some like random minifigs in the back, which you can't see that well. But there's that. And you just get the Batcave in Arkham Asylum. So, yeah, there's my Bat, uh, Batman collection. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.